Hi, everybody. This is Jerry Gerritsen, Tabia Law, and we're going to talk briefly about the uh, I-601 um, hardship waiver factors, and we'll get into that. But let's go ahead and read this. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. So this topic concerns folks that are having a hard time uh, getting being reunited with family and they've tried to be admitted and they're at this point the, the status is inadmissibility they can't they're not being admitted even though they have a family tie husband wife whatever so what the i-601 is all about is uh, um, to waive uh, uh, the issues that, that may be at hand as far as what's causing the inadmissibility. And so there are several factors of hardship. And what would happen, what happens is the court, immigration court, will look at these or the official and make a determination to see if uh, the issues at hand can be waived and the party can uh, come into the country and um, in some form or, or fashion uh, of status. Okay, so basically we're looking at, let's go ahead and well, I'll just uh, run through these and then we'll be done, we'll move forward. Uh, so again, I-601 hardship factors, uh, community ties and contributions. So if, let's just say he's already, here, or he or she are already here, then what are their com uh, community? What are their ties in the community? Does he have a business? Does he, I mean, he's not here legally, but uh, oftentimes <laughs> that's that's just the status. They could have a full blown life here in the community and have a business and doing all kinds of stuff, and, and uh, technically don't have legal status and are in, in a situation where they're going to be deported, removed. Uh, and or they're outside the country and they, they have some kind of ties uh, and, and uh, but they're not being admitted. They have an issue of inadmissibility. So so these are the hardship factors we're looking at that and then also economic and financial issues. So is the uh, let's just say the wife is here, husband can't get in. Is she having financial issues? Is she on her way to become a public charge or uh, dependent on welfare or whatever. Uh, and so those factors are taken in. It would be better for the government just to let him in to support her. Does he have the financial means to do that? Can he come here and support her? Career and education disruption. Is he here already and running a business? That's his career. And now we're gonna kick him out of the country and it's gonna disrupt his business. Same thing as maybe getting a degree. Health and medical concerns. Is the uh, party, uh, is, is the um, wife or husband, whoever's here, dying? And uh, the husband or wife cannot be with them because uh, of this inadmissibility. Conditions in the country of deportability. So we're starting to touch on kind of asylum type stuff there social cultural adjustments, family relocation of separation, family ties here and abroad, and immigration history. What, what's the history of these individual parties? What's keeping them out? Uh, is it a hardship scenario that we can bring in to clarify or explain past immigration history of the individuals? So anyways, that's a brief overview of uh, I-601 hardship, uh, or, or the I-601 uh, hardship waiver. And uh, we may, uh, I'm sure at, at a later time, we'll get more into detail on each one of these factors. Okay, but that's it for today. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you guys next time.